The entrance was blocked by blocks? Can you use the gigas to move them? Yeah, maybe. I'll try. gonna reach that well there are some more blocks here
We'll need more than that. Hey, there's some over there.
What about over there? to the dark corridor. It looked like this? Yep. Here goes. Xehanort! What do you want with my friend? Look, such tremendous darkness. All because he was ripped away from the boy who cares about him most. Does that mean... 
we'll all be like Buzz? If we don't find Andy? Wrong! Distance doesn't matter. Andy's part of their hearts, just like my friends are part of mine. <clears throat> you can't rip that apart. <sighs> what? Your friends are your power? <laughs> How very true. But if the light of friendship is a form of power, the darkness of being alone is a power even greater. Darkness is the heart's true nature. Whatever you're talking about, I don't care. Put Buzz back the way he was, then get lost. Or else what, Toy? Yeah, I am a toy. And a friend. My guess is no one's ever loved you before. Because you know nothing about hearts and love. There are hearts all around us, trying to connect. Your loneliness only made Woody and Buzz's connection stronger. That's the heart's true nature, to never ever let go. Wherever they are, Andy and the other toys haven't let go either. Yeah. You can't keep us from Andy. We're going home no matter what. And taking Buzz. Xehanort, you're so caught up in finding the shadows, you forgot about the light that cast them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, now! Giddy up, partner. We gotta get this wagon train a moving. Woody, wait, how did I get here? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe somebody switched you into dark and stormy mode. But I don't have a... <sighs> Thank you, Woody. Good to have you back, Buzz. Hey, hurry up! Huh? We can't hold him much longer! Don't give up, guys! <laughs> so, even empty puppets can be given strong hearts. I am going to have to remember that. Remember this, our hearts will always be connected to Andy's. No matter what you do. And that's something you'll never understand. Because you're hollower than any toy. But now I know a heart can be placed in the vessel of our choosing. For that, let me give you a parting gift to play with. Wait! Find the heart's joint to yours. Huh? Oh. There! Careful! Whoa! Here goes! Yeah! Hmm! 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 
so Xehanort got away again. Yeah, he's a big chicken. I'm sorry. What? Hmm? I wanted to get you back to the real world. <sighs> it does seem that we're trapped here. We'll never get home. Yeah, stuck like pigs. Our position appears fixed. Oh no! Oh. A shame we'll have to stay a little longer. With our new best friends. Huh? <laughs> After all the adventures we've had. We're not quite ready to say so long. <laughs> you guys... I'm sorry that I was being so stubborn. Please forgive me. Hey, you were just looking out for your friends. No biggie. Yeah, somebody's got to be the sensible one. Huh? Especially since Woody's always getting in trouble. Gorsh, that sounds a little like Sora, don't it? Huh? Yeah, I want to get comfortable with it. Like Buzz. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, if we do go back to the real world, we'll never see you again, right? Oh. But what about Andy? You care about him so much. Oh. And he's still right here with us. Oh. If we follow our hearts, we'll find them again. <laughs> yeah. So, Sora, are you going after the guy in the black coat? Something tells me we can't join you on that mission. That's okay. Because you become part of our hearts. Oh. So let us become a part of yours. <laughs> 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 Thank you! <laughs> now, off you go! To infinity and beyond! You had to remind me? Well, gorge. We just want to help keep you motivated. I was thinking about Roxas. He's trapped here in my heart. But he needs a body to be himself again. Well, don't worry. Yenzo's working on a way to get him free. I'll bet you he's got the perfect body all lined up. Yeah. You've got the gummy phone, Sora. Why don't you try giving him a call? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, why not? Oh, hiya, Sora. Your Majesty! Hey, uh, hey, what? Wrong number? No. Rico and I are visiting Radiant Garden. Actually, we were just about to call you guys, but it looks like you beat us to the punch. Sora, is something wrong? I wanted to pick your brain. 
in order for us to recomplete Roxas, he needs a body, right? Yeah, to put his heart in. Hmm. Huh? Replicas. Huh? Well, replicas are basically human. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. You wouldn't remember. The previous Organization 13 developed replicas, realistic vessels to place hearts in. They're so real, in fact, that you'd actually mistake them for people. And with hearts, the replicas will become people. Cool. But if we get our hands on a replica, will Roxas look like himself when he's recompleted? Yup. The replica takes the form of the heart inside it. That's perfect! I'll talk to Ienzo. He was in the organization back then, so he might know more. Great. Thanks. Wait. Do you guys think they're after replicas, too? Nope, they definitely said a black box. Who's that? The organization and Maleficent. Oh, oh. Uh, I guess we forgot to mention it. Huh, it's okay. But there's something you guys should know about one of their members. Huh? So let the rest of us worry about Roxas and Naminé for now. You journey on and keep an eye out for Terra. <sighs> no, 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 no. Stop that! <laughs> <laughs> they don't change, do they? <laughs> nope, that's their best quality. Well, we gave Merlin the vestments for Kyrie and Axel. Let's go stop by Ansem the Wise's study. Right. Sora, I think you're ready for a teeny ship.
Why can't I go outside? The outside world is a dangerous place. You must stay here where you're safe. Do you understand, Flower? Those lights appear every year on my birthday, only on my birthday. And I can't help but feel like they're, they're meant for me. I need to see them, and not just from my window, in person. I have to know what they are. It sure is a pretty day. <clears throat> yeah, the weather is great. It'd be perfect for a picnic. Why do you think we came here? Got me, Donald. We'll figure it out as we go. <sighs> okay. I'm sure we were brought to this world for some good reason. But can't we sweat it later? Fine with me. I swear there's no harvest. mention them, they show up. There goes our picnic. I, I didn't do it. It's okay. Let's send these guys packing. Say, since you three seem to know what you're doing, mind if I leave this one to you? Yep. We'll take care of them. Go on, skedaddle. You have my thanks. Whew. The horse was enough. Don't need any monsters on my trail. Yeah, what? What's enough? Oh, nothing, nothing. Name's Flynn, Flynn Rider. Oh, watch out, they look mad. Slowly, slowly. Out of here.
Huh? Where'd Flynn go? He's the dead on it. I think I saw him go that away. Huh? But that away is just a dead end. Yeah. That's puzzling. Well, did he? Hmm. I say we investigate. Just imagine the yummy stuff Little Chef will whip up with this. He got away safe, right? Huh? Hey, now Sora's gone too. This way, guys. It's a secret passage. Yeah. How you doing? The name's Flynn Ryder. How's your day going? Huh? Who else knows my location, Flynn Ryder? All right, hang on, Blondie. Rapunzel. Gesundheit. Here's the deal. I was in a situation gallivanting through the forest when I stumbled upon it. Oh. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Where is my satchel? I've hidden it. Somewhere you'll never find it. So, what do you want with my hair? To cut it? Huh? Sell it? No! Wait, you don't want my hair? Why on earth would I want your hair? Look, I was being chased, I saw a tower, I climbed it, okay? End of story. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, Lynn Ryder. I'm prepared to offer you a deal. A deal? Look this way. Don't... Do you know what these are? You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? Lanterns? I knew they weren't stars. Well, tomorrow evening, they will light the night sky with these lanterns. You will act as my guide, take me to these lanterns, and return me home safely. Then, and only then, will I return your satchel to you. That is my deal. Yeah, no can do. Unfortunately... The kingdom and I aren't exactly simpatico at the moment, so I won't be taking you anywhere. Something brought you here, Flynn Rider. Call it what you will, fate, destiny. So I have made the decision to trust you. A horrible decision, really. I am serious. Oh! <clears throat> Let me get this straight. I take you to see the lanterns, bring you back home, then you give me back my satchel? I promise. And when I promise something, I never, ever break that promise. Ever. Oh, what to do? I cannot let her find that tiara. Okay, just think. I need the satchel, and Blondie has it. There might be more monsters out there. I've got it! The three guys in the funny outfits. They look tough enough to come in handy. All right, fine. I'll take you. But on <sighs> one condition. My three sidekicks come along. Look at that! A tower! <sighs> Let's check it out! I wonder who put a tower here? Soft. I'm free. I'm really free. Oh. Flynn, good to see you in one piece. Huh? Guys, you're here and just in time. <laughs> hmm? Oh, who's she? Uh, that would be Rapunzel. Something tells me this could be her first time outdoors. Give her a few minutes to get used to it. First time ever? I can't believe I did this! I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! Mother would be so furious if she knew I disobeyed her and left the tower. But that's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her. Right? No. Oh my gosh. This would kill her. This is so fun! I am a horrible daughter. I'm going back. I am never going back! I am a despicable human being. Best day ever! 
I notice you seem a little at war with yourself here. A little more than a little. More that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Stop right there. Who are you? Oh. I told you before, my sidekicks. Sidekicks? May I introduce... Uh... Oh, my name's Sora. And I'm Goofy. Pleasure, ma'am. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. It's nice to meet you, too. I'm Rapunzel. Yep, my sidekicks. Hey. Since when is that? Look, she really wants to see the Lantern Show tomorrow night. Now, I'm a nice guy, so I've decided to help her. Only problem is those monsters might show up again. I can get her to the kingdom, but you guys are clearly more cut out for combat. That's huh? cause we're heroes! Uh-huh. And oh. we're heartless experts. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Just leave it to us. Done. Rapunzel is interested. Yeah, her heart's pulling her all kinds of ways. The outside world must seem so big and scary. I know how she feels. Lucky for me, you two came along at just the right time. And the rest has been unforgettable. Uh, yep. Unforgettable. Just like your face. <laughs> Come on, Mal. All for one and one for all. Look, the flowers are growing on top of the water. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment. I've painted everything I can see from my window. But now I get to see it all up close. Maybe this isn't such a good idea after all. say it, but I'm letting you out of this deal. What? It's way too scary out here. Let's just turn around and take you home. No, I am seeing those lanterns. No, oh, come on! Rapunzel? It's okay. 
I'm not afraid to face them. Be careful, Rapunzel. I will. Good. Yeah. Now's our chance! My shield! Someone? Who's there? She's such a precious gift. Allow me to assist you in getting her back.
lions. Look. Oh. <laughs> Watch. Oh yeah, I thought that might work. But I wish there was a way to make more fly at once. <laughs> 